Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to place trades and orders on the MetaTrader 5 Forex trading platform. Now, if you are interested in a free Forex trading platform, or you'd like to try out MetaTrader 5 for the very first time, feel free to follow the link at the very beginning or at the very end of the video. I'll also be providing the same link down in the description below. You can click on this link to directly bring you to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. Now onto this video, like I said, I'll be showing you how to place orders and place trades on MetaTrader 5. And there are multiple ways to do so on this platform. So I'll be taking you through the various ways on how to place orders. So first up and probably the most simple way to place an order on MetaTrader 5 is through the new order button right here on the top. This essentially just brings up an order ticket for the various symbols on this platform. So as you can see, if you do open up the new order ticket, you are presented with uh, several predefined contracts that are listed here for you. If there is a contract here or a contract that you don't see here that you would like to add, feel free to go into your market watch list here and you can manually search for it. Once you do have that contract up, you can just pull up this order ticket by right clicking it and then placing new order. So as you can see, this is pretty much the general order ticket for MetaTrader 5. You can access this with just about any contract or symbol on this platform. And again, if you do decide to go through this route and you don't see the contract that you like here, you can simply just search for it in the market watch list. Now the way I, you, as you can see with the order ticket up, currently by default it is on instant execution. So this is pretty much for traders that want to place their trades instantly and don't use anything such as a good toe cancel or some type of order flag or duration that holds their order in the market. This is also pretty much just for market orders essentially. But as you can see, you can put stop loss and take profit legs on your market orders. If you need to, you can place a comment here as well or adjust the deviation. Now for orders that do need some type of order flag or they want to use limits or stops, the pending order section is the type of order for you. Again, this can be selected under type and then we'll need to select on pending order. So as I mentioned previously, there are expirations here. As you can see, there's good to cancel, today, specified, and specified day. Now if you are the type of trader to utilize the different expiration dates here, you might wanna keep track of the expiration date here on the right hand side. So as you'll see, the good to cancel will cancel once the market does close. Same with the today option here. Now for specified, we can adjust both the date and the time at which we want our trade to close out. And then specified day, it'll just be the end of the trading day for whatever trade we select. And as you can see, for both options here, we can go in and we can enter our calendar and choose by calendar date. And then for your specified option, we can go in and manually adjust the time as well. But, but again, it is worth noting that even with the pending order section, you can adjust the price, your stop loss, and your take profits as well. If you need to, you can place any comments as well. And just to show you an example here, I will place a buy limit at a random price that I've selected. There's no means or method to the price I just did select, but I'm gonna place a trade here. And as you can see, I did place my limit at the following price. And if I need to, I can see the reflections change right now in my trade tab down at the bottom. And as you can see, it is reflected here currently. So that's how you place trades through the order ticket. And like I said, there are multiple ways to place orders and trades on this platform. So let's continue. The next option I'll be showing you is the depth of market. Again, you can access this by either right-clicking the contract that you want, and then once you do have it right-clicked, you'll just go down to depth of market. You can also use the shortcut Alt-B on your keyboard. All right, so with our dome now up on our screen, as you can see, it does appear as an average dome as you might expect. 
there are a couple major differences that I will point out in just a second. But as you can see here with our dome up, we do have some functionality to either link the dome to an active chart to match the symbol to whatever chart we have currently up. We can actually add a mini chart here, otherwise known as a tick chart. And then we have a couple of configurable options here to either extend or minimize some levels on our dome. But either way, the purpose of this video was to show you how to place orders. So as you can see, we do have our arrows here, which represent our buy stops or our sell limits, depending on what level we click on. Now down low, we can actually set our stop loss levels and our take profit levels, as well as our volume for our trade. Now down at the very bottom, we can close our position or place instant execution orders so you're buying and sell at markets. Now the major difference, like I did point out earlier, is the fact with these arrows, instead of actually instantly executing directly from the dome, it will actually open up an order ticket as we saw previously. So just be aware of that. Don't attempt to play to place a trade instantly and you're actually delayed because you end up having to open up an order ticket which may slow you down. If you need to, you can just open up your order ticket here at any time while monitoring the dome here on the left and you can adjust as needed by simply clicking on the arrows. And then once you're ready to place your order, you can place it. But the great thing about this is, is whenever you do click on an arrow, depending on either whether it's a stop or a limit, or depending on the price, the order ticket here, when you do click on an arrow for the first time, will automatically adjust all your parameters here. Unfortunately, it looks like you do have to close out this order ticket every time you want to change or have the platform automatically change your parameters here. But either way, it is nice that the platform does reconfigure all the parameters within this section so you don't have to go in there and manually do it. Now the same goes for your buy and sell at market buttons down here, the instant execution. Now if I do click on one of the instant execution buttons down here, again, it will open up an order ticket. Like I said, it might just be worth having an order ticket up at all times when using the dome, especially when you are attempting to place instant execution orders because if you do need to place a trade within an instant and that price does fluctuate, when you do happen to open up a separate order ticket, it may slow you down. So that's just something to keep in mind. One more thing about the dome here is it does have a history of all the past orders you've placed. So you can just simply snap to whatever order you have here. And then if you like, you can close out directly from here using the close button. So that wraps it up for the dome. Now the final way of placing an order that I will show you is through a chart. So again, you can either use our charting button up here to open up a chart window, or you can specify the contract down here in our market watch list, click and then open up a chart window. Now from here, it's actually quite simple. You'll simply just need to right click anywhere within our chart and we can specify the price level by wherever our right click is on. As you can see, depending on where I right click, the price level does change. Now you can also use the trading button. Again here, if you do use this method, it will open up an order ticket. So ultimately, it's worth just keeping in mind that when you are placing trades on MetaTrader 5, there always will be a slight buffer if you don't have an order ticket up. And what I mean by that is just the seconds it does take to open up an order ticket. So for those of you that do utilize high speed trading or need to place trades instantly, as soon as a price does fluctuate, you may just want to always have an order ticket up either in a separate monitor or somewhere on your window that you can always access it. Another method of trading through the chart is your one click trading. This is pretty much just gives you some buy and sell buttons up here and you can also manually adjust the volume and the quantity of your order. Again, by clicking on one of these buttons, it still opens up an order ticket window. One last thing that I want, would like to mention when trading through a chart, I think it's definitely worth having your crosshair up at all time. That way you can always see what price level you're currently at here on our Y axis on the right hand side. As you can see, you do get a bit of an indicator that displays where your price level is currently at, depending on your crosshair. 
And again, when you right click at that level, your price will be reflected at the very top option here. But that just about does it for this video, guys. Please remember when you are placing an order on MetaTrader 5, it does seem that no matter what route you choose, an order ticket will populate. So just keep that in mind. If you are the type of trader, like I mentioned, that needs to trade and place trades in an instant. But that just about does it. So thank you for watching.